Welcome. We just want to cover a few things to help you share ID Life with friends and family and other people you meet along the way. So I just want to do a quick training to help you get started. Word choices, what to do, how do I get started, how do I share this great opportunity with other people. I mean, it, it's a great opportunity. I mean, we've literally taken the supplement world, a trillion dollar industry, and flipped it upside down. And now you have the ability, it's at your fingertips, to share it with other people and help them get the results that you're getting and feeling the way you're feeling and help you help them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through a couple things that we've been we've had success with in our four walls and sharing it with other people. First of all, you got to start with a list, okay? You know, we have a lot of people who just kind of wing it and those people kind of, they come in and they go, okay? They, they don't get any traction. You have to have a list because as you start talking to people, you got to know who you're going to talk to. You got to have a plan. You know, you don't, great, great soccer coaches or basketball coaches just don't walk out on the court or on the field and play without a game plan. So this is kind of your game plan. This is the people you're going to go. Plus, you can follow where you're at with them in the process of introducing Ida Life to them. So I'm going to sit down and write a list. You know, think of people that um, drink energy drinks. Think about people that use supplements or want to live healthy. Think about people that go to the gym. Think about people that maybe have Crohn's disease or thyroid issues. Okay, some people have some medical issues that make them not feel as well. People don't sleep as well. So there's a lot of people like that. And then the big one, people that are are the want to make money. Your entrepreneurs, your go getters. You know, people who've been successful with things in the past. Put them in a list. And also, I can really encourage you as you're out and about and you meet people. Okay, make a friend. Ask them to be a friend with you on Facebook. Add their name to the list immediately so you don't forget about them and I'll show you how you can use that later but next thing okay we're gonna reach out to people either using message through a text or messenger that's one way sometimes it happens in person okay sometimes we're out and about and we see somebody what a great opportunity we haven't seen them in a while they're on our mind they're on our heart okay and then last phone calls sometimes we're just gonna reach out to some people we know really well through a phone you know I called my mom about Ivy Life Okay, called my brother and sister about Ida Life, some of my best friends. I just went straight to the phone and shared the excitement and things that I had with it, okay? It doesn't have to be really, you know, some scripted out magical saying. And this is what I'm going to say with your list and reaching out to people. We are sorting, not convincing, okay? If you think you've got to have a magical words of saying that's going to magically give somebody to sign up, it doesn't exist, okay? It's just you sharing your excitement about what you know and what you've seen, what you've tasted, what you've experienced, and sharing that excitement with the person you have on your heart, okay? And you're just sorting. You're, you're asking them to want to look at more. If they choose not to, move on. Don't sit there and spin in a cycle where you're trying to convince them because you're losing time to go find the people that want to. We just want to sort, hey, would you like to le learn more about Ivy Life and what it's done for us? Yes, great, share that with them. No, thank you, we're good. Good, you know what, no worries, maybe a little bit later. And you can come back to them later. So get through your list, sort, and not convince is another really good one. Also, so look for clues, okay? As you're about, you might see somebody drinking an energy drink. Okay, it's a great opportunity. Hey, do you drink a lot of those? Or do you drink energy drinks pretty frequently? That takes us to the next one. Ask questions, right? Or you see somebody come into the gym. Maybe you go to the gym. Okay? A great question to start conversation is, hey, I've seen you've been coming to the gym for a while. What's your driving purpose to come here? Or why do you come here a lot? Or what's your goals? You know, Those are good questions to ask. You know, How's the gym going? Anything to start a conversation. Or you might see somebody at the gym, you might say, hey, do you use a pre or post workout? Do you try any proteins? You know, those are great questions, right? You know, somebody also says to me, hey, I'm, I'm tired, really. Do you not sleep well? Boom. You can then share sleep strips or some of the things that happen with you, okay? Once you get into conversation, okay, one of the things that we do is we like to message people, okay, and we like to reach out. It's a little thing. It just might be for you. It may not. We completely understand, but we think you might like a company that we're working with called ID Life. Can I send you a video? It ended with a question, right? So I ended that in the question. If they say yes, I want to send them the videos and I want to ask them, when do you think you would like, to, if they say yes, they want to watch the videos, I also ask, when do you think you'll be able to watch the videos, today or tomorrow? Okay. 
I find out when they're going to have a chance to watch them. And once they say, oh, you know, I'll watch them tomorrow, I say, great, I'll follow up with you tomorrow evening after you watch them. So then I write that down. I need to do a follow-up, okay? So follow-up's in here as well, right? I write it down in a planner or tab it on my phone so I don't forget. So the next day in the evening, I follow up and I say this. Hey, what jumped out at you with those videos? That's all I said. Again, I use a question, okay? I don't ask them what they think. I ask them what jumped out at you or what caught your attention or what did you like the best, okay? What fit you the best, okay? And once they say something, I tell them, because we're going from a message to we want to get in person with people. We want to get on the phone with people. We want to share our excitement face-to-face -face or over a phone. Doing it through Messenger is not a good method, okay? So one of the things that we do is as soon as I say, oh, I love this, I'm like, great. You know, I'd love to share this with you. The best thing to do is to get on the phone. Are you free now or tomorrow? Again, you see I'm using, are you free now or tomorrow? If they say now is a great time, I say, great, I'll give you a call. I call them, I share the excitement I have, a little bit of what it's done for me or another person. I ask them a question. So you told me that you want more energy. Is your energy low? And with a question, yes, my energy is low, I don't sleep well, great. Then I'm going to pick a story, okay? So videos and stories. So I might have shared a video, now I'm gonna share a story or maybe a story of how it's helped me sleep, maybe my wife, Maybe my mom, maybe a teammate, maybe somebody, a story I learned at a healthy hour or at a, a, a summer slam. That's why you go to these events is to pick up stories. So I'll share a story and I'll ask them another question, okay? And get them familiar and give just a little bit of information to help them get through. The next thing I might do as I'm talking on the phone is I'll ask them, hey, would you like to take the assessment? It's a free, and I use this word, I said, the assessment is a 5,000 algorithm HIPAA compliant medical grade assessment that will tell you what you're deficient in and show you a list of medical grade supplements that you can use to help you sleep better, feel better, lose weight, okay, and have more energy. So work on those. Those are really good things you want to practice, those wordings of saying those things. Then if we're in person and they're asking for a sample, I'll usually try to sample them. If I'm in person, I always sample somebody. So if my message took me to an in, to a per, in person meeting, so if I talk to the person, I know they're local, and they say, man, I really like this, great, when's a good time to meet? Today, tomorrow, or maybe this weekend? I give them a couple options. And then sometimes they might say, well, tomorrow's good. Then I'll say, great, is morning, afternoon, or evening good? Around my schedule, okay? I give them choices, easy questions for them to answer. You know what, evenings are best for us, great. And I think of two times, okay? Is seven or eight best to me? You know what, eight's great. I'll be able to drop the kids off with my husband and we'll be able to meet. So when we meet, I'm sampling them right away, either with an energy or with a hydrate, okay? I'm giving them something that tastes pretty good, that's easy to mix right there in a water bottle, letting them taste it and experience a little bit of how good the quality of the products are, okay? After I get through those steps, the most important thing is, is we don't try to sell them and sign them on everything in ID Life at one time. Some people will. Some people are like, this is exactly what we're looking for. How do I sign up? Okay. And then at the, depending on how new you are, that's what we'll talk about in the next video is how to set up a three-way phone call or a two-in-one meeting. Or we'll show you a video on how to sign them up. If they're ready to sign up, you can walk them through the process of becoming an associate. Okay. But a lot of times it's going to take a follow-up to get them moving. So you maybe meet with them um, in person, you maybe message them and got them on the phone, share some information, maybe we're just gonna send them another video, or maybe you set up a time for them to talk with somebody else in ID Life, and now it's time for the follow-up. So one of the things I do, if I'm getting ready to put them into a group, okay, or set them up into a message, or set them up into a three-way phone call or a meeting, I always follow up with another video later. I always send them something else later. I, I use the words, I'm excited for you to speak to, for us, would be Keith and Lindy. I might send that to them a day later. Or I might send them another video. Hey, I'm really excited for you to see this video. I always use the words, excited. I'm excited for you to come to the Healthy Hour. I'm excited to meet you tomorrow at Starbucks. I'm excited for you to watch this video. I'm excited for you to get on the phone with our friends who have helped us build a business. You, those are good ways to encourage people to stay plugged in. because the follow-up is key. 
Maybe you've given a sample and it's simply, hey, I'm excited to know what you thought about the energy today because I know you said you were going to take it. Okay? And those are really good easy, easy steps to help you work your way through talking with people. When else fails, just be excited, share a little bit of what it's done for you, and just keep working off your list. Hope that helps. Thanks, guys.